evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and I'm joined tonight in Lumber Tekken 2 by The Pink Rider. Hello. And tonight, we are going to be checking out her base and building the conveyor thing that I was talking about last time because I have this amazing, brilliant idea of awesome, and I just can't get it outside my head because of the way that it works and things. Um, so, <sighs> coffee. Coffee time. Okay, so, whenever I was watching your conveyor belt go around and around and around and around, I saw that it always pushes to the outside, right? Yep. Centrifugal force. Mm-hmm. That is upside down. So, uh, like that. So, what if, and this is just a, a thought that I had, rotate, rotate, what if... Rotate, rotate. Uh, rotate, rotate, rotate. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I have to move this up a little bit. There we go. So everybody that's watching the video right now is like, Code, what are you doing? What in the world? Well, I was thinking, what if it were kind of like a train track? Wait, did I put one here? Did I put one here? I don't remember. Oh, I gotta wait for it all to catch up. Um, it may not. Yep, I did put one there. Wow. We have got some serious lag going on. Anyhow, the uh, no, idea... What? My fault, I think. The ad idea is to put the centrifugal force into action to allow a huge train track style thing to kind of work out in the middle. Well, not in the middle, but around the outside. Why can I not place them flat? <laughs> am, am, no. I, am I going no. too fast? No, it's not that. I couldn't get it to go flat. And then you were picked up the same one anyway, so... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Have you got a ball? That's the question. Uh, yeah. Of, of course. I've, um... Yep, you have. you got a blue one. Okay, cool. Wait, is that... No, that's a snowball. 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 Um, oh, wait, hold on. Let's go over here. Does it have any... I do not have a ball on this base. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh! Hold on. That won't work. I gotta have a ball. All right. Um, hold on. What about... Did the wobbly heads? No, I don't think. Oh, oh, oh! Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh. There we That's go. That's that one. That's that one. It's like a little train jack. Yeah. Go, little buddy! Go! <laughs> <laughs> so, I have an idea for what to do for this year's Christmas tree. <laughs> Be right back. Okay. We might be able to do like a whole. Uh oh, did that fall through? No, don't fall through. All right, what if I did this end? There we go. Hope these are all one by one units. If they're not, uh, nothing I can do about it now, but. 
<laughs> see if a one by one unit will work. Oh yeah, that'll work. Off you go. On your way. Centrifugal force is always pushing it to the outside. So... <clears throat> That is so cool. Let's slap that one on there, just in case. There we go. I'm gonna hit stop, hit the pause button on that one. Ooh, ouch, ouch. Sorry. No baby, baby kitten with a claw stuck. Oh. <laughs> that work. That works. <laughs> so now imagine a humongous Christmas tree here in the middle, presents all around. I know it's no, summertime, man. and I'm not supposed to be thinking about Christmas, but this could totally yeah. be a train track. It's not that far away, <laughs> but at the same point. <laughs> You imagine if you did that around the, the, virtually the whole base. Yeah. You, you could have your presents going around. You could have anything going around the whole base. Oh, that is so cool. Mm-hmm. Now, are these turning at all? They're, they're doing like a slight turn, but not much no like that one's was facing forward it turned about 15 degrees on each turn so you don't really have to worry about it getting stuck as long as it's not bigger than like one and a half units mm-hmm and if you needed to put bigger presents through there you make the gap bigger obviously mm-hmm that would work Eyeballs. You can put eyeballs through them. You put spoons. Oh, he's just gonna do that one. Alright, what about the hot cocoa gift? That works. How big is the gap? <laughs> I think the duck. No duck! No! <laughs> nope. Great. Great. Why have you done this? <laughs> it will fit. It won't. It will fit. No, it won't. It won't fit. I think the mesh might be slightly off. Now, wait a second. Hold on. Because it turns. Oof. Yeah, it, it can't be done with a duck. It turns. <gasps> Ooh. That's what I mean. It's, it, it turns as it goes round. It sticks. Yeah, that works. <laughs> The duck box, maybe. Yep, the the box work. <gasps> what happened? <laughs> Spoon! <laughs> Spoon happened. <laughs> I'm going to make a t-shirt that says Spoons Happen. Yeah. This reminded me of something. Don't worry. And the duck got stuck. Yeah, could you open the box? <laughs> now it's going to stick. Oof. No. It's got to either be a slightly bit wider to do the duck. Now, hold on. Let's see. Do I have any angles or floor? No, I just have floors. Okay. Um, let's... Uh, Got to make a run to the hardware store. Um... All right, uh, let's go. I'll take the really? duck off. Really? Yeah. These are getting stuck when they get bunched up. Yeah, they come off center. They're hitting the outside edge. 
on this one on the set on the second one which is causing it to stop Okay, this could totally be one of those oddly satisfying videos. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oddly. <gasps> A new video series. Oddly satisfying Lumber Tycoon 2 videos. <laughs> Code gets to play. <laughs> <laughs> Just two hours of me staring at conveyor belts. <laughs> with ASMR in the background. Hi there. My name's Code Prime. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's go grab some blueprints because I need some um, wedges. We'll see if that, that works on the way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. We're, we're going to do a tour of your thing. Mm, go and get wedges first if you want. All right. I'm coming. Min. Oh, there's the lag. Oh my gosh. Lag happens. There you Sit. are. Sit. Alright, let's go over here first. Because this looks well, it amazing. Is, it is a size 11 base. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, get this out of the way. Let's chop, chop, chop. I'll just put this out of the camera view. Because we're going to take an amazing selfie. Right. Alright. Mm. You can do it up by the end time story if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotta get the right. Okay, this. <clears throat> Move! <sighs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Okay, 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 I'll stop. Right. No, me. About. A slightly wandering control. Print screen. There we go. That's going to be an amazing thumbnail. Okay. Take us on a tour. Where to? Well, first off, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dread doing this. I know I am. open mm -hmm. oh very nice gray wood table nice would you like a gray wood table uh it looks like it's holding your alpha axis I don't, I don't want to impose no it's not it's um I've got loads of gray wood um <coughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, this is what I'm dreading taking you on tour for. <laughs> go up the ramp. Oh, no, go up uh, the ramp first. Okay, okay. To, to the far end. <laughs> don't look down. Don't look. Don't look in. What the in down. the world is it's this? Not the, it's not the down. It's the whole lot. When you come back, <laughs> same way. Why do you have this many? Well, you used to be up. Where are you? I'm um, at the, to... the chops. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, you're still up there. You used to be able to create lag to be able to chop up both ends of the piece of wood to be able to duplicate the wood. Oh. Gotcha. And this was the very, very first base that was ever built. For the sole and purpose of duplication? For that sole, sole purpose, because it was, at the time, the thing to do. Gotcha. With all my, all my storage cupboards around. I'm waiting for you to come down this way. Oh, wait. You are... You I'm are down the end kidding of me. There's a... What in the world? Where are you? 
Where are you? Have you taken a shortcut? You took a shortcut, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> so, remember that oddly satisfying idea that I had? Mm-hmm. I'm doing it right now, like, walking down through the center of the, the sawmills. <laughs> it's the wiring diagram for it that's the best bit. What is this? Look, look, you can get between there. Have a look. <laughs> what? Feeble Marlin, the person I keep saying that does to all my wiring, wired the whole lot. They pulse on and off, so they're not constantly running the whole time. And there's one switch to turn them on, or I can have individual blank banks of running at one time. He <laughs> Do you know how many there is in there? How many? 2,400 in total in the building. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come through the door. You haven't, seen, you haven't finished yet. Come through the door. Okay, okay. And we go to the other side. Oh my gosh. 12 and 13. <laughs> 12 and 13 boxes up the top there still for Squidworth painting. Wait, where? Up top. Above the... Oh. In the corner oh, up there. I see it, I see it, I see it. Yeah, 12 and 13s. Still got some. But at this side we have... Storage. It's gone up. Oh. <gasps> E, E, press E, press E. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that I'm, is too cl I'm too close. That's right. a lot of TNT. I don't think yeah, I can no. set it off on your property anyway. Wait, you wait, can't. No, I'm whitelisted, right? Yeah, you are whitelisted, but you can't anyway because you're too close. But, um... <clears throat> glitched once? No, are, is this one glitched? No, that's a normal. No. Some are normal, some are glitched. Gotcha. But it's all cupboard storage. End times. Or not end times. Uh, spookwood. Yeah, all spookwood doors, but they're all um, all got things in. Well, Ooh. most of them. Are. Ooh, a laser. Yeah, all lasers. Then, if you'd like to come with me. Uh, by the way, I pulsed that uh, that button earlier. I don't hear any saws going off. No, nope, you won't. <laughs> Why? I'll t I can turn them on in a minute, but I'll wait until you've um, finished doing what you got to do, because you won't be able to move. <laughs> in times tree! Yeah, I've actually had people coming up and trying to chop it down. <laughs> it's not working. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the switch is down. Uh, where are we? Uh, does that do anything? No, the switch is here. I'm just trying to get to it. Double lever. I think. Oh, I see it. It's actually just on the base of the tree. Yeah. That's really hard to see whenever it's on, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's the idea. Oh, Especially yeah. with the little teal bits on the end. Anyway. Stage two. I didn't even... Re like, I'm so used to seeing the end times tree with the little bits at the end. I didn't even realize that those were actual wires at the very tips of all these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, next. So yeah, this all drops. Yeah, or... I wouldn't. I wouldn't stand there for a minute. Okay, okay, I'm off. Ooh, ooh. It's how the wood comes up from below. Nice. Uh, is your lighting neon lights underneath the conveyors? 
No. No, no neon lights there yet. This is still, even though I was, this was quite quite old, it's um working, it's still work in progress. Pretty impressive and amazing, incredible Wait for base. It. When you come up the top of the conveyor, you will have to double press whatever key it is for you to get underneath the wall. There we go. What, what key? Right, we stay here. Okay. Wood goes in here on this end. Okay. We then open up that one, let the wood through. We then turn on source and turn the conveyor over. And ooh, 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 ooh. Nearly got it. The wood would then go backwards through there and turn the conveyor the other way so that it comes back through the through there. And then it would chop it into fine little pieces. You got a confetti cannon. Oh yes. <laughs> nice. Turn that one off. You open that one to allow it to go through. And take the dynamite with you up the top. <laughs> and away she goes. I know what comes next. Yeah, it's only a small one. This is only a small one though. No, wait, hold on. You've got this set up. Okay. So this one's set up slightly different to the other one. The confetti up here at the top. Yeah, goes in the top. All right, hold on. You're going to need these down there. Out of the way, yeah. Oops. That doesn't matter where they go at the moment. Then that one opens up top. Confetti goes in here. Yep. We then close. Oh, if the conveyor stays still. We then close that one. And open this one. Dynamite goes in. Yep. <clears throat> Once dynamite's in, close this one. Yep. That one. Which ignites the dynamite, dynamite opens and the opens hatch. out yep. a door. And the only problem is with this one, which is why the Mark II on the other base, you have to get down there pretty quick out the way because the force of the dynamite going off will actually kill you. It looked like such a nice base from the outside. You got Pikachu and teddy bears and oh, a snowman I've and got, cupcake. I've got one thing more to show you yet. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny. All right. Where to? Down to the door. Okay. Come jump down. straight down. Come down. I just jumped off the edge. Oh, uh, I'm still inside the base. Yeah, so am I, but... Um, oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, just, just over here. No, no, over here. You know what? Move. And yay. There we That's go. it. Okay. Come here. Out <laughs> through the door. I'll leave the door open. I'm not... Not worried about that for a minute. We turn around here. It reminds me of a level that I'd see on Zelda. You know? You have one firework. Where are you? Okay, I see. I have one firework hidden behind Pikachu's ear. Okay. Why? And because it's there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you come up. You have a run of fireworks along here. Now I have no cash, so I can't actually do it. Okay. But this one here. If you set if that one was set off, it doesn't fire straight up in the air. 
Okay. It fires onto your base. Well, as close to your base as it'll go. That's a bit off. All right, hold on. Might be too far away, the angle. Oh, closer. <laughs> I wouldn't like it too much. <laughs> Get out of the moment. <laughs> Dev devilishly wicked. Like it. <laughs> now, could you straighten out the angle? I guess you can't because it's it is rocket propulsion physics. Yeah, so. it's just a case of it's just a case of changing the wet type of wedge. So if you had some um, more of an angled wedge, it would go further across. Come on, I can't actually press the button. There we go. Reload. Oh, Ooh. yeah. I hear oh, the weather. Yeah. I hear the weather outside getting worse. So, I oh. might be done. We've got to go to the shop. Did you fire yeah. that? Yeah. Oh. This says you have no money. right I haven't oh but I reloaded them for 20 bucks gotcha okay now you can hit the button and they're all loaded oh wait 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 there's one more one more come on reload there we go reloaded go <laughs> only five took off but anyway the corners of this pyramid are all nicely stitched in, if you look. Now it says insufficient funds, that's why. Oh, yours is insufficient funds? Oh, because it yeah. would be using your money, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, See, look, all nicely stitched in. And when you get to the top here, it looks like a volcano. That's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, tell us what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, does yeah? Let's go turn on the saws. We've only we've only got two minutes left, but I really oh boy, I really want to see oh it. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh gosh, where was the control panel? Was it over here? I had to, I had two friends help me build this when I started. Uh, give a good shout out for those two for helping me. That's Hardcore Lou seventy seven and CSW sixty five. Great thanks for the help over the years building it. Shout out to you guys. Hold on. There we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you coming in to have a look? Yep. Yep. What, what I do? Mm. Looks like it's already on. No, they're already on there, but... Now they're on. The music just stopped. Everything will stop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Upstairs is on as well, by the way. This is not ASMR! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll, I'll put them on. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let's, let's go outside. I don't want to leave them on too long because you won't be able to move until it will kill the server. No, no. Keep it, keep it on. Keep it on. I want to see this. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the sound. Yeah. yeah, it's starting to get really laggy. Oh, I'm doing good. I'm not, because I'm just about moving. <laughs> you're, walking on the, you're walking on the spot. 
Oh, I'm I'm actually I'm outside. I'm actually getting ready to jump into a truck. You want me to leave them on while you're going to drive a truck? Okay. Yeah, I'm driving around, and I'm going to pick you up. Maybe. Yep, picked you up. You're actually inside my car. Can you no, see no. it? Yep, I can see it. <laughs> you're like I'm not believing it. <laughs> the. Fine. But it is getting laggy. Oh yeah. The uh the car currently doesn't have an engine. It's just <laughs> silent. <laughs> Let's see, if we get further away from it, does the logic The lag gets less. Like I can hear it, but Oh, we I switched. So okay, there's the sound oh. back. Yeah, because they're pulsing on and off. They are actually switching on and off now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I phantom cuts. That's awesome. I honestly don't know if the old system works anymore. I think he's patched it. On the video, that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying if it actually like. I don't wait, know whether that... it will. I don't know whether it will. I've got a piece of wood here. Okay, I have a piece of wood here. Now, there if you go. come here, we'll try it here. That. Lost There's connection that. to server. You lost the connection to the server? No. Yes. It's kicked me out. <laughs> I'll be back. Ooh. There's definite lag, but I mean, I'm I was still... about to try and see whether I could have cut a piece of wood at both ends, see if it still worked. I got you. But it kicked me out instead. <sighs> as I said, it, as that's what news, that's what does happen with the server. Eventually, you leave them on too long. But that's awesome. <laughs> Not awesome, awesome, but like. <laughs> Not something you would want to pull off every single day. Oh no. That's why it doesn't very often come in. I wouldn't normally bring it into the a <laughs> game unless I'm doing something so. It looks very amazing, very cool. Uh, so, uh, what did we do? We made a, a train system out of conveyor belts and things. Great ideas for uh, Christmas uh, or Legends of Zelda. Uh, maps if you're building a pyramid of death <laughs> so um, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me Heath Haskins Code Primate joined by the Pink Rider amazing builds amazing pixel art just all around GG that's awesome are you still there can you hear me yeah I'm still there. okay yeah, I'm still there. I'm back <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Any last words that you want to tell the viewers? Buy Code's book. <laughs> <laughs> Buy my book. And, and don't worry, we are trained professionals in the Lumber Tycoon 2. Don't try this. Actually, do try this at home. Try, try all these builds. Try this stuff and have fun. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro. Yeah.